Parts of southern Colorado have seen more than five inches of snow over the last two days, forcing some schools to cancel classes and others to go back to remote learning. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison has an update on conditions from the harder hit southeastern El Paso County area. Scott? Yeah, guys, we were supposed to join you a little bit early in the newscast, but we had some issues sending our story back to Colorado Springs, and then the snow picked up again, too. But we're here and ready to talk to you about what's going out here in the southeastern part of El Paso County. About 20 miles east of Colorado Springs, I'm standing in several inches of snow. Now, this is light compared to what we've seen to the southeast of here. This is the second straight day that this area has received the bulk of snow in the Pikes Peak region. Highway 94 is in good shape, but it's clear, at least for right now, but that's not quite the case south of here in communities all the way to the Pueblo County line. There were whiteout conditions at times on Tuesday in southeastern El Paso County. Roads were snowpacked after a second day of winter weather. The conditions canceled school, but didn't cancel a young rancher's chores at home. Oh, I gotta go and feed some cattle. And that's about it. And uh, how many? Oh, we gotta feed about 350 head. Holy cow! And it'll take us about two hours on a good day, so it'll probably take us about three today. Fortunately, we didn't see any crashes because of the snow. That's surprising, considering a thin layer of ice hid under the snow on many roads. In this rural area, most people have four-wheel drive vehicles that allow them to get in and out of their property if they need to go somewhere. Yet Tuesday snow, on top of the snow that fell Monday, along with slightly stronger winds and colder temperatures, have created icier conditions. And some drivers say if you don't have to be somewhere, you should stay home. But that's not a luxury many people have. And we met a couple who have a good reason for being out in the weather. You guys had a doctor's appointment today? You said? Yeah, we did. So we, we found out that we're pregnant, so we have to oh. have to have our baby appointment so that we have to go to. So I appreciate it. Thank and on cue, the sun came out, or it tried to at least. It and road crews should have an easier time getting the snow cleared away later this week. And again, the snow has picked up again after it stopped just a little while ago. Now, a county road supervisor told us that by the time this round of snow is over, parts of southeastern El Paso County will have received almost a foot of snow. And no one's happier to see all of this white stuff than the farmers and the ranchers who have been coping with the drought. We're live in Ellicott. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Scott, thanks, and congratulations to that expected couple.